Yeah, this, this question's for, for Ardis. I think I looked this up right. Four of your top, or two of your top four scoring games career-wise are against Duke, 27 and 22. Well, what is it about you and Duke, and does that give you some, some added confidence going into this game? Uh, it's just another game, really. Um, I was just used to playing them a lot in ACC. So, I mean, I just got used to playing them, knowing their strengths and weaknesses. But it's just another game now, so. Questions? We'll go up here on the right. Ty Richardson, ESPN, Arkansas. Stanley, in a way, in neutral venues, you've been pretty lethal from the three-point line this season. If Duke goes either man or zone, do you feel like this is be a, could be a game that you could take advantage of? Uh, yeah, I think it could be a good game uh, as far as, you know, if they go zone to, to stop our rim attack, maybe we can um, get some sets to find some open threes, things like that. But um, I think it will just be about getting out there and trying to see how they're guarding us and, then, and making adjustments from them. Matt on the right. Matt Northern of CBS Sports uh, for Jalen. Uh, having gone up against uh, Gonzaga's bigs yesterday and now Duke has another pair of really, really good bigs, is there anything that you can take away from what you faced with uh, Timmy and Chet, or is it a completely different ball game altogether with the way that, uh, with the way that these guys play for Duke? Um, it's going to be another hard rebound tonight for sure. Um, playing their their whole lineup is pretty big, but we just got to play strong, and it's a whole different game for real. Um, their bigs are different bigs. They got a seven foot center. They throw a lot of lobs to him, and they got Paulo. He's one of the best players in the country, and he has he can play from every, anywhere on the court. So it's a whole new game, and we got to be ready from the start. Question on the left. Uh, Christina Long from the Southwest Times Record. Stan, I'm just curious, um, in the film that you've watched on Duke already, um, what differences you see between them and the, the team you just beat, Gonzaga? Uh, I would say they got a lot more uh, guys that like to dribble drive and, and can shoot. I think that they got, you know, they got five guys averaging double figures. So I think knowing our personnel is going to be big as, as far as, you know, because they got different guys that li like to do a lot of different things. So I think just really locking in our personnel is going to be huge. Ron on the right. Hi, Ron Krejcik from the San Francisco Chronicle. Jalen, for you, you you, meant, you asked about Duke's bigs and you mentioned Paulo in passing. Specifically, what kind of challenge does he present? Seems like kind of a unique player and certainly very poised for a freshman. Um, yeah, he's he's uh, he has a lot of size. He's 6'10", he's 250, and he also can move really good. So it creates a lot of mismatch things. but. Uh, we played against players the whole year, or we've gone into situations where we changed our defense to looks at people. So um, it's a different challenge, of course, but we have uh, something that we're going to do, and we're going to be ready for them. Question on the left. Hey, guys. Jacob Seuss with 5 News in Fayetteville. Jalen and, and Devo, you know, anytime you go to an Elite Eight, it's special. But after last year, when you guys were kind of locked up in the hotel, couldn't really do anything, how much more special is this experience doing it for the second time when you get to see the city, see your families, and uh, kind of do things off the court? Yeah, it's way different. Like you said, last year we didn't really get to uh, go through a real March Madness because it was in the bubble, but this year has been way different. Like walking through the hotel and seeing all the fans yelling, it's, it's just been crazy. It's what you grow up wanting to play in and play for. Like this is one of the things you look forward to, but it's been a crazy experience and I'm happy I'm here. Yeah, like Jalen said, I think it's very nice um, being able to see our family and our fans um, support us. And I think um, last year it took took some of that away from us, but um, we didn't let it get to us. So I think this is helping us out even more. Um, hopefully we get past this round and um, advance. Dana in the middle. Uh, Dana O'Neill with The Athletic. Jalen, so much obviously is made about you taking charges, but I'm wondering, growing up with three much older brothers, how much of is that just being bodied around and bullied by them? <laughs> yeah, um, growing up playing with my brothers, they used to always just use or body because they're so much older than me like we would play horse and they could dunk it and I couldn't dunk it yet so they always make fun of me with things like that but now of course I'm the one that can dunk and they're older and they can't dunk so we'll play horse <laughs> and I'll dunk it and get them letters and but yeah just playing with my brothers that's what I'm pretty sure that's what got me liking to play physical question on the left 
Hey, Scotty Bordelon with Whole Hog Sports. Uh, Jalen, I'm curious what happened last night a couple times that led you to, to doubling over. And I think I saw you one time, you said you were dizzy, I think. Did you kind of feel like a, I guess, a responsibility to kind of stay on the floor, even maybe when you didn't feel 100%? Um, I wouldn't say I wasn't 100%. Um, I don't feel the responsibility. I know everybody on our team is ready, but there's a lot of times where I just stay out on the court. Just the coaches do a really good job of trying to call timeouts. We get breathers during the commercials, but I don't feel the responsibility or anything like that. Yeah, um, he did that move and he kind of elbowed me on the side of the head and I wasn't dizzy or nothing. It just kind of stung a little bit. Pat in the middle. Uh, for Jalen, Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated. A question about JD and just his uh, mentality that uh, allows him to be confident enough and determined enough to keep shooting 29 times when the ball's not going in very often. Yeah, JD's a confident player, and we're just as confident as he is in him. And JD does such a great job of creating. He creates just as much for everybody else as he does for himself. So when he's feeling confident in himself, when he's hitting shots, he's – He's doing everything for us, and he does just as much on the defensive end. He's one of our best defensive players, and he's just great overall. But he has a lot of confidence in what he does. We see him work. He stayed after a shot for I don't know how long today after practice, and he just works on that. So we're going to have as much confidence as he does in him. Question from the back left. Alyssa Orange, NBC and Fayetteville. Hey, guys, I'll ask this one to Stanley and Devo. But uh, Coach K was up here talking about how the Final Four is the mecca. There's nothing like it. And I'm sure you've watched it on TV. What Describe what it would mean for you guys to get to New Orleans. Yeah, it would mean a lot. You know, to me personally, you know, it's been a, it's been a long journey, you know, to get to the NCAA tournament. So, you know, making it with this team would, would be real special for me, for sure. Um, yeah, like Stan said, um, I think – um, a few of our staff members also is from um, New Orleans, so I think it'll be very special not only for us, for them as well. So um, I think it'll be fun. We'll go over to the right with a question. Hey, Brennan Marks from the Athletic. Question for Audis. You obviously were able to sort of make life miserable for Nebhard yesterday. You've got some familiarity with Duke's backcourt, with, uh, with Jeremy Roach and with Wendell. Is that something that's potentially replicable? And just in terms of their backcourt, what do you make of those two guys? Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy and uh, Wendell are very good players. Um, uh, they like to go downhill a lot. Um, it's basically just as a, it's going to be a, a guard game, really. It's just keeping who can keep who out of the paint. Um, and that's, that's pretty much what we all got to do is just uh, try to keep them uh, paint touches, limited paint touches, and just go with the flow. <laughs> Question on the right. Uh, for uh, Jalen and Devontae, this is Billy Witz with the New York Times. How, as gr growing up in Arkansas, how how much is the '94 championship game, you know, part of, uh, I guess, growing up? You know, how how educated are you on it, and how much uh, was was it part of growing up? Um, I, one thing I do know is that I think that was the last time we actually played Duke. So um, I think this is going to be really fun. Um, it's special for a lot of um, older guys that used to play here. So I think it's going to be um, a lot of eyes on this game. And I think it's going to be really fun knowing that that was the last time we played them. Yeah, um, I was nowhere near born in, but <laughs> I, it's it, you hear it growing up in Arkansas that everybody knows about that team, what they did for the state, and just being able to be or get close to the same position they're in is great, just being in the same position. Question from Bob. It's, it may be for Jalen and Stanley, if you, the other guys want to chime in, but you know everybody knows Coach K is retiring after the season, so you know, all these games could be his last, but they keep advancing. So you guys could be the team that ends his career. Um, just wonder what, what your thoughts are on that. Uh, we, we haven't really been thinking too much into, into that. I think we're just focused on how we're going to attack them offensively and how we're going to guard them defensively. And, you know, obviously he's had a great career, Coach K, but right now we're just focused on how we're going to how we're going to try to beat them. Yeah, like what Stan said, he's one of the greatest coaches ever, but 
that's that's not on us. We're just going to go out there, play the game, and it's just another game for us. It's that time of year as college basketball takes center stage with the tournament finally upon us. If you're looking to wager this year, Bet Online is the number one spot for all your updated odds and info, along with great contests, including the bracket contest, where you can have a chance to take home the top prize. Head over to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BELIEVE to get started. That's B L E. AV. Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino games. Bet Online, where the game starts.